This is a simple explanation and installation guide to the Turbo 82120 gear rack sliding gate operator from the Italian brand Key Automation provided by Royal Electronics Technology Center Corporation from Vancouver, Canada. This is the box for this gate operator package. It includes the installation guide for the motor and the programming guide for the control board. This is the gear rack mode and the two manual release keys for emergencies are found here. Additionally, the package comes with its own installation base plate and 4 meters of SLG41 gear rack to be installed onto the sliding gate and stoppers installed onto that gear rack to alert the motor when to stop by making contact with the motor spring. Screws and washers are included for this package as well as a packet of four self-tapped bolts and washers for the gear rack installations. Finally, two remote controllers are included which come prepared to the corresponding motor. Important to note, in order to access manual mode using the two manual release keys, insert the key, turn, and extend 90 degrees and you will notice that the motor has released and the gate can be hand handled. To access automation mode, make sure the gear is somewhere in between both ends, neither fully open or closed, and push back the extrusion 90 degrees, turn, and remove the manual release key. After some motor movement, you will hear a click, and the motor is in automation mode and can no longer be hand handled. Now, onto the installation instructions, it should be noted that there are two nut pieces which must be pre-installed from the bottom of the motor base plate prior to installation, and the power feed hole should be on the right side from the inside of your residency or gate held area. As instructed by the instruction manual, there should be a minimum of 50 millimeters, 5 centimeters, or 2 inches of space between the edge of the motor to the sliding gate. As well, there should be a 2 millimeter gap between the teeth of the motor gear and gear rack. By hovering slightly above, some pressure and extra weight is alleviated off the motor, allowing it to run more smoothly. Make sure the base plate is on a flat surface without any tilts or angles. If this is not possible, adjustment bolts are available to level the motor on an unleveled base plate. If your gate is at an elevated position and the motor cannot reach the gear rack, the base plate can be installed on an elevated concrete pad, strong and supported piece of wood, steel, or aluminum to adjust the height and allow the motor to operate successfully. The power and accessory wires should be brought up from below the base plate before it is installed through the power feed hole as it leads directly into the control board. We highly recommend the use of concrete bolts for the base plate installation. By now, the motor and the motor base plate have been installed and the power and any accessory wires have been pulled through. Now that the motor has power, let's start discussing and programming different basic functions of the CT-102 control board. The dip switches are only corresponding to the use of a safety sensor and should only be bypassed if a safety sensor is installed. If not, turn on all four dip switches. To pair a new remote controller to your motor system, break this piece here and install the radio receiver included in the package. Press the radio receiver button and a repeating green LED flash will be displayed. Then hold down the remote controller button that you would like to pair to your corresponding motor system. When the flashing stops, press the remote controller button and you have successfully programmed the remote controller. Let's begin the programming stage. Make sure the gear is somewhere in between both ends, neither fully open or closed. Hold up and menu for 5 seconds, LOP will appear, and if the first move your motor makes is not to open, then the direction of the motor needs to be changed. To do this, immediately press down, then SBS and the direction of your gate operator has changed. The gate will slowly open and close, automatically adjusting the force amount, registering the traveling distance, and the slow speed nearing both ends. If you would like your gate to have an automatic closing time so that the motor operates to close after a specific period of time being open, enter the basic menu by holding menu for one second. The screen will display TCL and zero, indicating the automatic closing time. To change this, hold menu again until the number zero begins to flash repeatedly, and press Press up and down to increase or decrease the automatic closing time. Once you have chosen the desired amount of seconds for the automatic closing time, hold menu to confirm, then press menu to exit programming and watch the timer go down. For any technical questions, call us at 778-384-2800. For any assistance, email us at info at our etcc.ca. 
if you are looking to get a quote, visit www.retcc.ca.